Hey guys, so the car has just installed um, software update 2022 36.2, which brings with it a couple of minor, minor updates, nothing too major. Um, if we look at the release notes, the biggest thing here in the UK is this first one right at the top here. Um, autopilot will disengage if you are at a motorway merge. Um, specifically, if you're dropping from you know three lanes down to two or whichever, and you haven't indicated that you are changing lane as part of autopilot and it's doing it for you, then it will show an alert, disengage and require you to take back control to complete that merge. That's the really important one on here because previously it would just follow the white line or get confused and disengage anyway. So it's really nice to see they've done something with that. Second up, energy app improvements. Again, it's just about energy consumption for those people that like to get into all the geeky statistics. A couple of improvements in app, um, really minor stuff. What's currently playing on the car media wise, and how long you got left to your destination, which you shouldn't be looking at your phone for anyway, because um, you know it's on the car. But of course, if somebody else is using your vehicle or with another key, you can still look and see what they're doing. Occupancy um, and usage details for superchargers. So like Google Maps will show you how busy a shop is typically at any particular time of the day. Tesla will now do that with their superchargers in the map. If you forget to lock your car for any reason, so if you're using the key card rather than your phone and you forget to lock the car when you walk away, it will notify you to tell you you've done it. And they've added a new language. That's it for now, a really minor update. Obviously that big important one with the autopilot. But that's it.